Who the fuck do you all think you are replacing Edward and Henry, Audrey characters that are not only loved but respected by the entire Thomas fandom and replace them with what could be a molded loaf of bread on wheels and a fucking tissue box? And of all things you could do with Edward, you put him in purgatory? Look at him and tell me that those are not the eyes of somebody who wants to put flint water in his tank. What the fuck is the deal with Rebecca? Like, when the fuck has Gordon ever needed help with the Express and what makes you think he needs it now? Like, why? What? When? What episode? Explain to me. What? So, you're, you're trying to tell me that this is up to Northwestern Railway standards now? What the fuck, Topham? You're running this place like it's Drayton Manor, just fucking ruining shit and breaking the natural order of things and just overall not doing what you're supposed to do at all? You really can tell that the writers of the show just really do not know what they're doing and I don't know if anybody's ever told you guys this, but if you don't have any idea what you're doing, maybe don't fucking do it. It's cool that they want to make Thomas like more HD and shit. I, I, I guess. But why is it like every new season there's just some new unnecessary detail that they've added to Thomas? Like what was what was wrong with how he was previously? What made you want to give him rivets? Like that was time you could have used to write an actual plot. Or fuck, possibly realize that nothing you've ever written even has a real plot. Fan service is like cool and all, but it feels really bittersweet when you've changed every other aspect of everything else that we were already accustomed to. It's almost as if you all are saying, yeah, we really don't care about the principles of this shit, but do you all remember these guys? Yeah, we didn't, but you know what? We do now, so expect some new toys that nobody asked No, for. no, no, wait, that'd be too good. Give them this. I could throw this over the railing at a zoo, and I feel like the monkey would just throw it back in a fence. Who does Mattel think buys their toys? Like, I, I, I really want to know. Yeah, there's probably some really sad kid who buys these and will never know what the luxury of an original Trackmaster was. But who do you think buys Thomas Wood models like at all, period. For anything other than the face, and I promise you that shit's going straight on a box. And the rest of that shit, nope, it's going to a dump. And what's the point in changing something that's not already broke? There was nothing wrong with how you had it. But nah, we're going to save 25 cents on every model we produce because we're not putting paint just on these parts. It's also worth noting that they did kind of go back and fix this, but just, just fuck y'all for even doing that in the first place. We, I would just love to meet the troglodyte who thought it was a good idea to make the engines move around like this, like their undercarriages are made of jello. We're gonna go out to a nice dinner and just discuss some things before I inevitably smack the dog piss out of you. Like, I don't even know what it is. It's just so unnatural and weird to see an engine move around like that. Like, please quit. Why are all of these new characters more similar to that of a decaying fruit than a personality? Like, they're all just thrown into this big bunch and you're just like, ew, no, not that one, but with every single fucking one. I seriously challenge any, anybody to go, like, go and look at the new characters. Each one you look at after the lat, they just get uglier. They seriously just get uglier every single new one you see. You all are just dancing on the grave of JJ the Jet Plane at this point, and it's disrespectful, and it needs to stop now. See, Jeremy is cool, alright? And Harold is too. He's got some demons, but he's alright, you know? This guy, y'all are just gross. What? What? What did you all do to Terrence? Why he look- for- for what reason does he look like that? Where does fucking the hairline thing go? That is just Hank Hill in 1080p. Do not fuck with me. I'm sorry, no, Bulgy does not make up for it. Not in the slightest. No, not at all. Why does Sir Topham Hat- look like a fat infant. See, this, this is just bad character design, because how is Thomas supposed to keep his chin up with that shit sagging right in front of him? I wanna say it kills my motivation, nah, he just kinda kills my faith even more. We don't even get an episode of Thomas coming back home, and honestly, I really just feel like that goes to show- that, that, that shows, you know, a lot. Like, not to call you guys greedy, or, you know, stupid and ignorant, but after everything that we've just been shown, I- you're not geniuses. Literally, there is only one episode in all of season 24 that anybody talks about and that anybody cares about, and that's Yong Bao and the Tiger. And I ain't gonna lie. I would agree with that. This is a good episode. But one episode out of 20, and you also have to remember they had three different specials in this season as well. That, that's not good. Thomas and the Royal Engine wasn't the worst thing in the world, but it was still plagued with literally all of these problems. This special felt more like an episode, and it would have done better as an episode. But you made it a special and you got us all hyped for fucking nothing again. Real quick, let me just say, I know that there was some things that CGI did right, alright? I'm not saying that all of the animated Thomas series is bad, because it's not. They, there's some things that are cool, you know, ju just cool, but you know, there's some things. And you don't have to agree with anything I just said. Honestly, I'd prefer if you drew your own conclusions on the matter. But I think any, you know, even just casual fan of Thomas can say, Y'all, y'all really just need to get your shit together. Might be a little late for me to say that at this point, but I, I, I'm still rooting for you guys, you know, at least a little bit. And seriously, guys, again, just because I may not like the CGI series as much as I like the classic series, and that's how, you know, others may see it as well, that doesn't mean that you have to see it that way, too. If you guys actually like the CGI series, that's completely and totally fine. But don't you ever try to justify the fact that they were replacing Edward and Henry with fucking Nia and Rebecca. Like, no, no, get that shit out. Fuck you.